So I know there's a bunch of you lately that have been wanting me to do some Minecraft Pocket Edition videos, but the problem is, since it and the Java version are so similar now, it actually leaves less to talk about. So if you have any Pocket Edition specific ideas for videos, feel free to let me know in the comment section down below. And the reason why I bring this up is because today's video is about the most well-known seeds ever in Minecraft Java, regardless of their version. If you want to try out any of the older seeds, in their appropriate versions of Minecraft, check out this video where I show you guys how to load up old versions of Minecraft within the new launcher. But either way, let's get right into it. So the majority of the seeds on this list are from older versions of Minecraft, and the reason for that is ever since the release of Minecraft 1.0, there haven't been that many seeds that have specifically caught my eye as having been remembered for what they were. So let's get right into this. The first four seeds on this list worked from Alpha 1.2 through Beta 1.7, and first up is 404, which might be one of the oldest well-remembered seeds in the entire game. The idea here was pretty simple. Near the spawn, there is a massive gravel patch of land. If you break blocks near the middle of this patch, the entire thing will collapse, leading into a massive cave system. The challenge was, you would grab any supplies you needed on the surface within the first day cycle, then go down the newly formed hole and never return. And you had one life to do this. If you died, you would start all over again. The goal was to just survive for as long as possible and also not use any regular torches, meaning you couldn't prevent mobs from spawning at all. The next two seeds I've shown in multiple videos before, but that's because of just how well known they are. The world seed Glacier, due to its absolutely unforgettable mountain range just beyond the spawn point, and the world seed Gargamel for just how unique of a spawn location this was. I mean, look at it. You spawn in pure darkness, and you need to use your bare hands to get out. As far as challenging seeds go, Gargamel was pretty up there, and when you escape the hole that you're in, you're met with a crazy mountainscape that you also have to escape if you want to actually explore the world at large. Alright, number 4. The seed used in my Hunt for the Golden Apple series. Back in 2011 and 2012, I ran a series called Hunt for the Golden Apple, which can still be seen on my secondary channel today. What's funny about the seed is that it was a total accident. The take of episode 1 that made its way onto YouTube was actually my second take. The first take spawned me in a rather bland world, and by the end of the episode, I was strip mining. There was no excitement at all. So I redid it, and this magnificent world spawned in front of me, with these two absolutely bizarre structures right at spawn. I mean, listen to my live reaction. Ooh, wow. Wow, okay. And beyond that, there's a range of gigantic mountains right next to a flat area that gives you an amazing view of everything. Out of all the seeds on this list, this one is my personal favorite. And number five works in modern versions of Minecraft. But I think if you've been following my channel for more than a few weeks, you may have already seen a video titled What Happened to This Minecraft Seed, where I covered in great detail what actually happened here. If you want more information on just what the heck is going on, then feel free to check out that video, which I have linked on screen. But anyways guys, that about does it for me for now. I'm planning on making a video about the best survival island seeds as well, so if you have any suggestions, feel free to leave them down below. And if you guys enjoyed the video, please feel free to leave a like on it. It really does help out myself, the channel, and the video quite a lot. So, yeah. I hope you all enjoyed this video. My name is Ant Venom, and I bid you all farewell. Thanks so much for watching.